Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. I hope you all are fine. Welcome here in mathematics class of gate 4. Here is your mathematics teacher Miss Amara with you. My dear students, our today's topic is based on factors. As in the previous lesson also we had learned about the factors. So today we have to learn uh, an other method for writing the factors. Our objectives of this lesson are that we all will be able to find the factor pairs for a given number. Let's recall our memory with what are the factors. The factors are the whole numbers that are multiplied together to produce an other number. The original numbers are the factors of the product number. For example, if 3 and 4 we are multiplying, we are getting 12 as a new number. And 3 and 4 are the factors of 12. Let's start learning the new method for writing factors. So here we have to find the factors by creating rays. So we can find all the factors of 24 by using the creating rays method. So every time I will use the factor it will be less than 100. So we have to use only the numbers from 1 till 9 because 10 times 10 is equals to 100. So we have to take the number that are less than 100. So we can make the list of the numbers from 1 to 9. Now, now, I will show the one first. One multiply by the number that is given. So the first factor pair is one by 24. So now we have to take the number two and we can see that the 2 as the factor or not? Can we divide 24 by 2? How can we see? We can take 2 rows and we can make the dots like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. Now, you can see that it's a complete rectangle. So now you can see that how many are in one row. So there are 12 dots in one row. So now we can know that 2 by 12 must be 24. So we can add it in the rainbow at the right hand side and this rainbow also tells us that any number between 12 and 24 will be like this and now we have to take the next number that is 3 and again we have to repeat the same process now here we have to make three rows and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we can see that it's a complete rectangle. Yes, it's a complete rectangle. Now we can count the doubts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 columns. So it means we have 3 rows and 8 columns. So 3 multiplied by 8 
are making 24 so we have to add it in our rainbow like this the next number that we have to try is 4 and the same process we have to continue 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 now let us check that is it a complete rectangle yes we have the complete rectangle now we can count the columns these are six so it means we have four rows and six columns so it means four times six is 24 we can add it here so now we can see that we have to check the last number now yes the six is here so six we have already used seven will not use because the great numbers that are greater than that we cannot use that next is eight and eight we cannot use because it's already we used so the last one that we have to try is five so let's go and check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now let us check that do we have a complete rectangle? No, we don't have the complete rectangle. So it means that 5 can't be the factor of 24. It does not work. So, our factors of 24 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. My dear students, when we are writing the factors, we cannot repeat the numbers. I hope you all have enjoyed this rainbow of factors with me. Now, you all have to try this rainbow. It's very interesting and easy. So, we have to look at the summary of our lesson. That what did we learn? We have learned that when we multiply numbers to get a final answer, the numbers are called factors. A factor is a number that we multiply by another number to get a product. And we know that product is the answer. Factors always come in pairs. This pair will always multiply together to give the original number. Like 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So 2 and 4 is one pair. An array is a collection of objects in equal groups of equal rows. Yes, so I hope it's clear to all of you now. So, let's end our lesson with a beautiful quotation. Nobody is perfect. That's why pencils have erasers. Yes, we have to be perfect, inshallah. Thank you all of you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.